If you were to ask someone, where's the best place to watch a fight? The average person is probably gonna tell you the UFC like some basic bitch. They are wrong. Really, the best place to watch a fight is street beefs. Street beefs is far better than UFC in every way. The fighting capability of the fighters they have is levels above any of the people that are in the UFC. I am about to provide you with a prime example. This is the street beefs goat. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness death sentence. I think it's important to keep in mind the death sentence allowed him to win that fight. He did not use his full power because he knew if he would use his full power, then he would full on kill that dude. Death sentence is exactly what his name describes. Death sentence, but only really for himself in most cases. The thing I love about him most is the fact that he always just comes flying in. Like his first move is just some flying attack. He, he goes for a flying attack and never works. He throws punches and it never works. Honestly, I think at this point, the weapon he should use is that weapon he has in his fucking tights. I am death Static! Welcome to the end of your life. And I promise it's gonna hurt. 717 Static, 142. MMA, ready to go. I like the contrast of Death Sentence being all crazy and shouting and his opponent just being all chill about everything. He's just like, yeah, I know it's gonna be a good fight. I'm ready to go. And Prepare to die! Two very contrastingly different tones going into this fight. <laughs> Him in this fucking flying attack, it won't work death sentence. Comes in like he thinks he's a genuine anime character, dude. Like it does not make any sense. That's not gonna work out for you. He tries that shit and literally immediately gets bodied. Crazy how fast this man went from having no momentum to the first place to having negative amounts of momentum for this fight. I truly think my favorite fights are the one where there's just one specific guy who thinks he's an anime protagonist and the other guy who just takes the fight like seriously as an actual fight and the guy who thinks he's an anime protagonist just absolutely gets demolished because of it. It's really just the peak of street beefs. So how are you gonna pull up like, I'm the last Hokage, da 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 bio, believe it. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Seeing street beefs isn't just regulated to your average everyday person. They even got celebrities doing this. You just witnessed Kai Sinat take on MGK. Having that much of a height advantage and allowing that man to get you down like that. Not only get you down, but just start bow, 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 like fucking Kratos or something. That's wild. Dude has at least like a foot or two on him. He just has zero weight, I guess. He just has the buoyancy of a fucking feather. Now, street beefs also does not discriminate towards women either. They allow both women and women to fight. And they even allow allow women and men to fight and that's what you're about to see is a woman and man fight because that's what street beefs is <laughs> Let's go! 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 Let's go!
and gentlemen, we just got Bruce Lee beating the fuck out of a redneck who started doing chew at 15. Honestly, that probably had to hurt that guy's pride so much. Not only getting knocked out by a woman, I imagine, to hurt his pride, but also the fact that I was in front of thousands of people. I don't know, just something about the way that guy seems, I would imagine he would not want to be beaten by a woman. Like, that'd be the greatest hurt to his ego ever. I feel like he knew he was done for the moment she saw that she had proper fighting stance and he didn't. What's your name, dog? Sleepy. Yeah. You know your name is a double entendre. Either you could put people to sleep, or I go to sleep. Or yeah. you go to sleep. I don't know, tired right now. You tired? I'm tired. Okay, don't go to sleep on us. Well, I'll try not to. I think Gideon actually placed a curse on dude. He goes up to him and says, Hey, your name can be a double entendre. Make sure you don't go to sleep. He's like, Yeah, no, I won't go to sleep. Lo and behold, after one punch, he fucking goes down. This man made obese Morgan Wallen seem like the one punch man. Hey, 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 what a grapple, what? Nah, what's hey, he grappling. Hey, he grappling. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, break. He good. He don't want no more. He can have a win. Yikes. This is actually wild. Out of anything you could have said to try and just walk away from the fight and not seem like a pussy, that could have been the worst thing you could have said. He don't want to smoke. I'm gonna leave and he can have the win. What are you fucking talking about? Ends up coming back in and fighting him again. And lo and behold, he isn't a very good fighter. So it's obvious why he wanted to walk out like that. But it's like, what the fuck? What do you mean? He's good. He's had enough. He can have the win. That's not how that works, dude. This is a fight. However, that's the coverage I have for Street Beefs. It's certainly an interesting fighting promotion, and I think you should check it out for yourself if you want to, because it is pretty entertaining. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I am calling Reba out to a match on Street Beefs.